To meet the increasing demand for rapid dissemination of urgent research results in medicinal chemistry, the American Chemical Society is pleased to begin publishing ACS medicinal chemistry letters in early 2010. Dr. Dennis Leota, professor and director of the Emory Institute for Drug Discovery at Emory University, will serve as editor-in-chief. We visited Dr. Leota at Emory University to speak to him about this new web-only journal from the ACS. Dr. Leota, congratulations on being appointed Editor-in-Chief of ACS Medicinal Chemistry Letters. Can you tell us a bit about the research areas that will be covered by the journal? Yes, the new journal will cover all aspects of medicinal chemistry, some related pharmacology, as well as any aspects of early to mid-stage uh, drug discovery. As Editor-in-Chief, what is your vision for the journal? Well, we want it to be the premier journal for communicating innovative research in medicinal chemistry and related fields. And I think we can do this uh, first by building on the great reputation that's already in place from the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, and second by adding um, uh, a number of um, innovative new features. Who do you see reading and submitting research to ACS Medicinal Chemistry Letters? This will be largely scientists associated in one form or another with drug discovery and development. Uh, they could be from the commercial sector, they could be from academics, they could be from government, uh, at least the intramural research um, arm of groups like the uh, NIH. They could be scientists that work for uh, foundations that are studying neglected diseases. So we see it as a very diverse array of, of people. We also know that uh, increasingly medicinal chemistry is being done in um, areas of the world that were non-traditional. That is, we're seeing more and more research being done in Asia, Australia, Africa, uh, South America, we certainly want the journal to be able to welcome manuscripts from all of these areas. And what are you looking for in a manuscript that's submitted to the journal? The easy answer is quality. The more precise answer is uh, innovative work. We want our journal to be uh, the place where people find innovative work in medicinal chemistry, and that's really what we're looking for. In addition to letters, this journal will also publish technology notes. Can you describe what these are? Certainly. We have a term in drug discovery called a technology toolbox, and this can include um, high throughput screening, um, combinatorial chemistry, uh, genomics, that involve new technology and um, usually uh, involve rapid assessment of, um, of data rather than um, the slow, um, what we used to call hammer and tongue approach to, to um, uh, assessing data. And those, those um, advances can be very important and very meaningful and there is really no place uh, that exists as a general repository for those new innovations. So we'd like medicinal chemistry letters to be one of the places that uh, medicinal chemists look to find out what new technological innovations are occurring. You have a broad background in drug discovery. Can you tell us a bit about your current research interests? Yes, we have uh, projects that span uh, a large number of areas. Uh, we, of course, began our uh, medicinal chemistry work uh, in infectious diseases, and we still have um, uh, a very vigorous program involving um, uh, hepatitis C virus uh, antagonists, HIV. Um, we have a particularly nice program in mixoviruses uh, that include um, neglected diseases like the measles uh, or uh, more common uh, diseases like flu. 
we have uh, an extensive program in cancer and one of the goals we have uh, is to try and identify safe anti-cancer agents. So we want to pay particular attention to quality of life issues. We don't think that every anti-cancer agent has to make you uh, have your hair fall out or um, uh, make you unable to eat or uh, unable to live a normal life. So we are focusing on quality of life issues uh, that others uh, are not. Uh, we have uh, uh, other programs involving inflammation. Inflammation is now um, an integral part of almost every disease state as we're coming to learn. Um, 10 or 15 years ago it was provocative to say that inflammation is involved in cardiovascular disease, for example. Now it's, uh, it's an accepted fact. Uh, we think uh, inflammation is important in, in many, many diseases, and we don't really have any good, orally available, safe anti-inflammatory agents. Uh, we have a wonderful program in traumatic brain injury uh, that we think uh, might make an important difference for uh, emergency medical technicians and for soldiers on the battlefield, something that um, they could carry with them and uh, simply uh, inject uh, and, and uh, if there was an, a serious explosion. And we think that there's a, a lot of evidence to suggest that we can significantly reduce the morbidity and mortality associated with those kinds of diseases. So it's a very uh, diverse and vigorous program. You're well known for your accomplishments in academia as an industry consultant and company founder, but also as the inventor of two major FDA approved drugs for treating HIV. ACS is committed to improving people's lives through the transforming power of chemistry, and the drugs developed in your lab certainly do this. Can you tell us how you went about developing these drugs? Yes, it's a, it's a very interesting story. I wasn't trained as a medicinal chemist, and when I went through uh, my first professional midlife crisis, I've had several, I think, uh, we w was just about the time when HIV was um, identified as a really serious problem and we had only um, a handful of tools that were available. So my first thought was, uh, since nucleoside analogs were clearly uh, the, the first proven therapies for uh, fighting HIV infection, we might be able to take advantage of our background in synthetic methodology and develop some new approaches for efficiently making uh, new HIV therapies. What came of that is, uh, is interesting and I think really speaks to the power of chemistry. Well, once we had viable methods, we could uh, really study extensively the, the structures of the compounds and refine them to produce the best possible drug candidates. And in doing that, um, we, we were able to, um, to contribute to the invention of both um, uh, the drugs we call 3TC and FTC, Epivir and Amtriva. Uh, the, the, the great news from that process is that um, now uh, our tech transfer office at Emory estimates that uh, in excess of 94 percent of HIV infected people in the United States have taken one or the other of those drugs. If you could describe ACS medicinal chemistry letters in three words, what would they be? Innovative, expeditious, and high quality. Thank you, Dr. Leota, for taking the time to speak with us about ACS medicinal chemistry letters. We look forward to the publication of ASAP articles early next year. Thank you.